Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a walk here at the area of Balashi and where we are standing right now is near the Spanish Lagoon, the Spans Lagoon like we call it here on Aruba. It's a Dutch word, Spanish, Spans and Lagoon, Lagoon, but it's written a little bit different. Now before I start this walk I do want to shout out to a member that's just signed up to be a member of my channel which is Awot. I'll put his name down here somewhere and I want to thank him personally to believe in my work and believe uh, enough to become a member. There are three levels of membership if you want to get shout out yourself in one of my videos that's one way to do it. It doesn't cost much. I do have levels from a couple of dollars till I do believe like $9.99 something like that. Anyway let's start our walk for today. I hope I'm not running into anything but anyway this used to be the old bridge that was used for traffic so this is where all of the traffic going from say Oranjestad to San Nicolas used to go and then um, as some of you may know a couple of years ago so they closed this one down they, they built the new bridge which is a whole lot larger and it is a double lane bridge also it's part of the which project was this one the green corridor so it's not officially part of the Wati Voss Boulevard which is the road more getting to the or heading from the airports to the hotels now if you are thinking of doing a hike or a walk down here it is possible there are some I do have a video where I hike from the gold mill nearby to this area I did do it quite a few months back probably more than a year back although and so yeah this is the road leading to San Nicolas on this side and Oranjestad on that side. Worth noting also that we can see right in front of us the Yamanoto which is the highest hill on Aruba. Give and take uh, about 189 meters I think if I'm not wrong by a couple and also the drive-in is nearby here at Balashi also and I have done a video on the drive-in also if you didn't know that we do have a drive-in here in Aruba that's been in existence well it's been in existence for quite a few years but then it stopped for like 10 years and now with COVID even in pandemic times it started again and apparently it's doing fairly good right now and I'm so happy for that because it's just different it's cool and it's something very very different now, our walk today let me show you a little bit down here so our walk today will lead us hopefully near the uh where we you would have to be like where uh the palm island uh boat would be so where you would have to go for to get the boat to go to the palm island now there are now four bridges so again this large one this one the old one and there's also one that's not really used for traffic but mostly for um, like tubing and everything that needs to go to uh, between the WEP water plant what an energy plant and um, where where do I need to walk yeah over here I think uh, at the wa water plant and the old refinery the refi refinery is not open anymore but uh, yeah that's where they, they I think they still have the fuel down there so we are going to take these steps some or maybe even many locals do not or at least in past years did not know that you can come down here via these steps And so as you can notice, it's a whole lot more quiet down here than it is up there. Yeah, 
and it's also beautiful. It doesn't, you know, like from up there, you don't really realize that it's like quiet, fairly quiet rather, for the birds and such. I did spot a Wada Wada bird a moment ago and I did catch it on video, but I'll be putting the vertical video of it in a bit. Let's get through these pieces of, you know, like the trees that have fallen due to rain. That, that happens a lot here. So since it doesn't rain all that much when it does, the trees don't, like their roots don't really go like deep enough. And so that's the reason why these Quihi and Watapana trees, they fall fairly quickly uh, because of the muddy uh, terrain. So where I spotted the water water was more or less in this area. Oh, before I do that, check out these. So many of them are like shells that are hanging on to the trees and eating from them, I suppose. Now these are the antennas of Tele Aruba. It's the government owned TV station and it has been open since I think um, 1960s or so. Don't know the exact year, but they've been ex in existence for quite a few years. And uh, when I was growing up, they used to not be open the whole day. So you, they used to be like open from like 5 or 6 p.m. till midnight or so, or 11 even. I'm talking even in as late or early as the 19, what was it, 1990s or so. And then cable, cable TV came along on the island and then that changed that now they do have well, so sunny <laughs> they do have programming basically the whole day uh, just as any major tv station so we are reaching the road so this is like the old road that was used to go to San Nicolas, as I told you, or if you live in San Nicolas, go to Oranjestad. Now, the this area is uh, um, like it's part of I don't know the I don't know the exact um. How would I call it? The exact lines where they are, the exact location, but part of this is protected by the Aruba National Park. And so, yeah, they do have kind of like the authority to change things if they, if they want to. And if I'm not mistaken, it didn't used to be it, used, it didn't used to always be part of the park, but it's like the last couple of years they decided to to add it to it to it also. Now, having said that, having said that, naturally, in this area you do not have to. Well, <laughs> it's gonna cross. You do not have to pay to, to get in, obviously. This is just part of the park, but it's not really like a part which is like super, super protected or anything. Oh, there's a fish down here, like a uh, yellow and black and white. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I have 
very rarely seen anyone swimming here. It's not really recommended, but uh, they, I have seen them fish here. And I think I just saw a fish like jumping from the water somewhere over there. But yeah, they, they do have, oh, there's one there. There's a kayak tours that do come partially in here and go back out. I have not kayaked here myself yet. But yeah, they, they used to, like they used to, to you know, like, uh, not swim, uh, mostly like fish here. I, you do see them sometimes on a Sunday or something. Today is a, what is it today? Today is a Saturday, so I'm filming this yesterday and you're watching it a day later. This is not live by any means. <laughs> now, another interesting story about um, this like old bridge that we just passed. Hold on, a lot of traffic noise today. Um, so I wanna mention two stories. One of them is that for the longest time, like years ago, for the longest time, they've been wanting to eliminate this bridge because apparently it was sinking and a lot of the heavy cars, they pass here. So like the container, container uh, trucks, you know, sand trucks, heavy, heavy load, and they were passing here. And so it kept um, like sinking and sinking, but it was a, how would I say, a delicate topic that they finally decided not to do it. And eventually, many years later, that big bridge was built, which hasn't been in existence for too long. I think maybe four years, five years, probably at the most. And Sorry, I'm watching down and I'm not watching you guys in the face because I do need to see where I'm walking and I have the cars coming up and it's not very wide in this area. So the, the other story is that, um, what was it? Uh, yeah, the, there was a, I think it was a dolphin. Yeah, I think it was a dol dolphin, like a small dolphin that came like inland and probably was sick and it came there like maybe two decades ago like yeah about 20 years ago or so and and um, it was uh, like big news that, that was like the biggest news on the island back then and I remember coming here and seeing it myself so we are heading to the Palma Island which is about did it say 400 meters away a quarter mile yeah and yeah so but uh if my memory doesn't like how do you call it if i don't remember wrong uh, i think it did die like maybe five days later or one week later or something like that so even though they tried to help it it wasn't it wasn't possible to recover it <laughs> somebody just say hi <laughs> i don't know who they are <laughs> anyway the water and energy plant is this one so it's called web water and energy bedrijf which in dutch uh, is a water and energy uh factory i think my translation from dutch to english is sometimes lacking to be very honest oh look at the Yellow Spirit Airlines is leaving today. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, sometimes locals uh, they do get a little bit concerned 
when they see someone filming in their neighborhood. And even though this is the road to the Palm Island, it is a neighborhood, so, you know, you do have to kind of like respect the privacy as much as you can, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm not here to do anything wrong, of course. I'm just trying to show you guys part of, of uh, you know, parts of Aruba that you might not get to see elsewhere. I do hope that no dogs will, will run behind me. And I do hope you are enjoying this walk so far, even though the dog is really, really barking at me. But uh, I love dogs. I just don't like when they bite me. That kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> that, that would not be good. And uh, speaking about that a little bit, uh, the laws in Aruba have been changing the last... Well, it's taking a little bit too long, in my opinion, but they have changed. And I don't know exactly how it is right now, but we are as far or at the point where if you are not keeping your dogs inside, they can be picked up by, say, like a dog catcher, if you can call it that. I don't know if they are actually calling that here. And then, uh, I don't know the details exactly, but I do believe that they'll give you like something like a day or two, something like that, I'm not sure. And if you don't show up, then they consider it to like be as a, like a street dog, like we say here, Cacho uh, di Kaya. Cacho is a dog and Kaya is a street in Papiamento. And uh, so it's a stray dog. And yeah, they, they might, uh, well, to be very honest, they, they might kill them because they think like, okay, it doesn't have an owner because the owner never came to, you know, to, like to say, hey, this is my dog. And uh, yeah, I don't know if, if there is a fine for that. If that happens, there might be, or at least a fee, I don't know. And I have to ask about that, but uh, Anyway, that has been, over the years, has been an issue here on the island. And I think that, as I said a moment ago, I do believe that we can do a better job than that. It's not just about the authorities, but I think as locals, we should be um, like keeping our dogs or pets inside as, you know, like as much as possible. If you are not able to Keep them inside. So we have arrived at like the entrance of the Palm Island. So here you would normally buy your tickets. And let me see if I can go closer. And so yeah. They do have uh, more things now than they used to. So the Palm Island has grown over the last couple of years. Now they have like a bigger slide. They have all this, these beach cabins now with the flamingos. And they still have like the bar and restaurant and the old slides for the, like the little kids and such. Yeah. So this is the this is the big slide now that they have. I haven't been here in I think pre-pandemic times. Yeah, I haven't been here in about two years or so. 
Now the Palm Island is part of the, the Palm uh, Tours or the Palm Company. And um, yeah, this is the, <laughs> by the way, this is the big bucket that's like uh, at the park. So every so often it will turn and splash everybody with, with the water. Let me get down here. So here is where you actually take the boat that will take you and lead you to the actual island over there. You also have the sea track, which I have not tried, but probably will at some point. I don't know. <laughs> I do have problems with my ear when I go in the water, so that might be a good option um, you know, to, to do. And the boat has just arrived. There's some music, but also I'll stay over here. But there's uh, certainly everybody. Like right now, it's uh, more or less it's the closing time of the the park. What are we close to five o'clock? Yeah, I think uh, five. Well, probably at the very very latest six o'clock you should be here. But probably right now it's five because it's uh, getting darker. Uh, how do you say it? Darker uh, earlier. So the sunset is. Uh, so the sunset is uh, a lot earlier today. Now it's a little bit noisy over here, so I'll get back up here. Hopefully you are able to still get some decent audio because it is a little bit windy and a little bit noisy with the, I don't know what they are, with some machines back there and with the boat arriving with the music and such. Um, anyway, I hope you like this video. I wanted to uh, do like a little bit of a different walk and uh, yeah let's see if everything's still running yeah so I hope you like this video and in the meantime if you haven't already done so subscribe like this video share it and let me know about other walks you are interesting interested to watch nothing further see you next week guys bye bye see you in the next one